Hello everyone, today I will uh, show you some of the model modeling tools. Uh, it's really basic, so if you are an expert, this is not gonna work for you. I assume you already know this. So, uh, I will go through these with all of these tools and how they work. I guess I'm gonna go through all of them, but I for sure gonna go through the most important ones and in the edge edge uh, edge mode and in polygon mode and how they work it's gonna be basic and easy so the, the important ones I have sorted them here but I'm not gonna go and use them from there what else we're gonna do yeah I might go through this axis center and how how they are used and um, I think that's it well, we'll see so let me delete this create plane get like 4 4 just to have something to work with so let's start um, I think you, you, you usually start from something like this so you don't have to go through this thing create points it's polygon creates points, so you, you basically create polygons with that. So let's start from bridge. I'm in a points mode. I'm gonna start from it. So let's, for example, delete these. Basically, bridge works like this. You just bridge points, and you can even, I guess, um, even if you bridge like nothing, nothing order, you still get good results like no not that one like this way still good get good results um uh let me show you how it works with 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 the edges so with the points you basically have to go through the four points you want to bridge or more like this in edge mode let me delete these two Edge mode, you just you have edges. You just bridge two edges like this. So I, I most of the time use it this way because it's easier. Um, I don't think there is any bridge in polygon mode. Well, it doesn't work anyway. Let's go to brush. Brush basically uh, allows you to move points. In uh, if you keep it in smear, of course. When you, when you when you press first time press brush this is the default things you get so there is I most of the time use smear to move things if that's that's how it's pronounced to move things and uh, for for example for um, uh, face modeling or head modeling I go and use smooth sometimes to make things like smoother and don't get weird uh, distortions and things like that you can even use it in points or edge mode and you can even use it when it's under subdivisions but it's like it doesn't affect that much when you are in under subdivision surface it does affect but it's like it's not as strong as that you have um, options here strength and radius you can change that so let's move forward close polygon hole yeah, let me just undo all of this. Basically, undo po uh, what's the cross polygon hole? You can use it for bridge, for example, if you have. Just ignore what I'm doing here right now. Oh, let's see. You can like this. This close polygon hole can close it like this, so it just doesn't create any links or edges between the points, but it closes the hole. It can be used in case you have like um, you have a quad. Of course, it will work like bridge, because basically just bridge. Instead of bridging, you can use close polygon hole, it's gonna give you that. Let's move forward. Um, 
this off this one is really important so yeah, I most of the time use it for edge I don't know if it works for uh, points but for edges you can select an edge instead of pressing like delete which will delete everything you just click right and press these off it will get rid of that and keep your geometry that's these all let's get that back um edge connect this one this one can give you like it can be you you can be using like loop loop tool it can cut as many as you want but in case you want to have like a uh, equal equally subdivided uh, ring or something you can uh, select the ring you want to put edges in and click right and go to edge cut so you you have to uncheck create create and gones and uh, give it how many subdivisions you want and click apply that will give you at the same distance from here 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 to here and of course you have offset and uh now do that scale so this is pretty cool can be used sometimes but i might just use loop i do more organic modeling so i don't have to care about measurements and no i i don't i never used that i don't know what what it's used for line basically just creates lines so these ones are really most of them give the same results doesn't matter if you are in points or edge mode you will get the same results other than bridge there is a bit different there so other than that playing cut so this one i guess first time it shows up it's only in r18 some for the r18 so just make some plain cuts like that and you press uh, escape or whatever escape to to count to get rid of it like this what else do you have? loop I just used it just make some loops loop cuts and for magnet I don't know that, what that's for this one slide is really important so let's say we get rid of this so let's say let's say we have a this type of shape and we have it under subdivision that's not important anyway uh, instead of moving the points like in a not uniform way this way or doing it like manually like this you can just slide that that does it for you it goes along the line or the edge so that's pretty useful or you can do it like this so this one works with edges too which is amazing you can slide the whole thing like this i just went to edges uh, move tool click twice and slide you can slide the whole thing down or up which is pretty cool yeah what else we have can you just this is not useful at all stitch and so this one is actually amazing so what you can do is delete this let me get this out of so this one let me start from edges because it's the most useful one you can select two edge loops and press stitch and sew and just stitch and sew them <laughs> like get one to the other what is cool is that you can even use it like a um, bridge tool you can hold on hold shift and click and drag which will crea create create um, you know like bridge like the bridge tool for um, for points you have to keep in mind that you have it to get everything unselected so that you can use anything or you just select 
the exact points you want to use it with and just stitch like that because if you have these two points selected and you want to stitch into these with this this is not gonna work so you 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 better have nothing selected and just do that yeah so what else we have oh well well this pretty useful too so you can basically select two points and come down to weld and click click out you can choose whether you want to weld it here in the middle or here and what else now oh, you can um, weld more than two points like if i want to weld these three together i can i can use stitch and so of course like i showed you stitch this one here and this one here or i can just go to build and i can click outside that will weld them in the middle points like over here if i want to weld them here i click here 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 let me just dissolve this edge dissolve oh that did not work that happens sometimes it doesn't have points to keep Okay, let me show you something. If you want to add uh, points here, I know it's, it gets me frustrated every time. You can just click on the edge and click outside and then... Wait, that did not work at all. You can just make a cut from a point inside and then dissolve this. Wow. I don't know why it didn't work. There, uh, now it's worked. I think you just have to do this. You can like click and click, and then you can come here to points and dissolve one. And then, not even dissolve, you can delete it, and then you have an extra point to work with. I think that's it for for um, for polygons. I don't think you have access to any of this. You can use some of them. You can use brush and close polygon holes and all of that. But you basic you most of the time wanna use bevel, which is this one. To bevel like this. And you have options here like to make that your that polygon bigger or so you can see more subdivisions. So you can just go play around with this, you'll get the points. Of it, let me see another one. Select a polygon, extrude like bevel, but it like goes either up or down. Let me show you something cool about this one. Actually, uh, I use it to I use it to add thickness to like a plane or something. So if you do like this, you you don't get a cap down here. You can press create caps. That gives you thickness. So if you are like in a hurry and you don't want to go extrude that up and go to edges and add like lines here to define that curvature more, you can do that. Select select the polygons. Go to extrude. Create points and come subdivision and create like make make it two or four that create two um, lines for you. Of course, you can go back and use like get it up or down to make that line sharper. Okay, let me get that. Okay, what is that? Extrude inner. Make extrudes in. Instead of um, extrude, you can hold control and drag to make the same like effects, but you don't get gaps here. Let's see. You don't get gaps, you just extrude out. Okay, yeah, uh, sometimes you might get this this type of distortion, like, uh, let's say we've been modeling and I made a mistake and I have this type of thing, so in subdivision surface, 
this is what it's gonna look like what you gotta do is come over the point that is flipped normal of this one is flipped like it's it's in the bottom what you can do is you can click in the polygon and come to align normals no reverse normals and if you have like a lot of polygons and some of them is reversed like in this case you can just go to align normals that will calculate and inverse it for you so what else there is subdivision this one um, subdivide model so basically it's let me see it's only subdivide you can check the uh, press the button that gear in the side to get more options so basically it just subdivides the model like this and it only works with the polygon mode basically subdivides the model if you want to have like a like subdivision surface effect you can click that thing and then use smooth subdivision and that will create that for you so that's pretty useful what else oh split i use split most of the time so let's go talk about it and then i'll stop there probably so if you for some reason you want this thing to be like a separate object you can come down here to split and that will create a new object with a with a basically new object with the thing you selected but it keeps the another copy of it it doesn't delete it so what you want to do is like hide this one and then come over here and delete it now you have two separate objects if you want instead uh, like connect them together you can just select any two uh, polygon objects and then come click right here and come down to convert object plus delete and that will create it for you if you go ahead and use subdivision surface you will notice that they are now connected so you can just click outside of the model and then come down here to optimize this is a good option too watch what's gonna happen so basically the points just got welded together any two points on top of each other so more than two points excuse me gets welded i think that's it yeah let me go through some uh, select some selection mode because they are pretty cool too they are useful so for loop tool you basically just uh, select loop bring uh, it's almost the same thing now so for loop i can select this loop right here when i go over over an edge for ring it goes around the edge uh, pretty much the same thing but the most important one for me i just discovered it which is the let me see let's say we have a car and there are some panel loops uh, some panels in it like let's say this this is a part and this is a part and i want to select this complicated part and i don't want to go like over here and do this i can come down here to form break it's over here of course form break selection and it's done i think i should get rid of that yeah i, I should come here and uh, the deselect from the limit and then i can select the font tab like this 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 yeah i think that's it i can invert selection select all these are like they are clear so thank you guys for watching if you have any requests questions leave them down below in the comments and um thanks for watching